Hey guys, we have been given the graph of a circle and we want to find the equation for it, okay? Now you may have been doing this backwards for a while. Maybe they've been giving you an equation and you've been graphing the circle. So now we're just working backwards, okay? So here is my magic key to all of this, right? This is the standard form of a circle, okay? So when I write this as an equation, the X and Y are going to stay in X and Y and we need to figure out what numbers we fill in for H, K, and R. And that's what this graph is going to tell us, right? Okay. So what I need to know to fill this in is my center, the center of my circle, and the radius of my circle. Okay. So the center is pretty easy. It's already labeled there for us, right? My center is, we go to the right too, and then we don't go up and down at all. So that would be two comma zero, right? That is the ordered pair for that point. Now my radius goes from the center to the edge of the circle, right? And it can be in any direction, right? It could be like this, da, 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 da. But for this example, the easiest way to get it is to just count the flat line, right? Now, there might be some examples where you're given like different points and you may need to use the distance formula, or the midpoint formula. But for this example, we can just count it because it goes through this point nice and clean, right? So I can literally just count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my radius is eight. Okay. All right. I have all the information I need to start filling this guy in. Okay. So trying to make it so you can still see everything. There we go. Okay. So we are going to have X minus H. Now what is H? H is the first number of my center, right? So my center is H K. So X minus H, which is two squared plus Y minus K, which happens to be zero squared equals my radius r squared. Okay, now let's just simplify this down a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna have x minus two squared, that guy's good, plus y minus zero is just y, right? So I can just write this as y, and we still need that squared, okay? And then that's gonna be equal to eight squared, which gives me 64. Okay. And look at that. Is that looking like the standard form of a circle? <gasps> Looks pretty good, right? So I'm going to go ahead and box that in as our answer for that is the equation for this graphed circle. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. If you need some more circle-y videos, I will link a full playlist for you if you want to check that out. Thanks. Bye.